Hey, this is Josh from Josh Builds, and today we're going to be building a voltmeter slash battery tester. For this, we're going to need an Arduino, a breadboard, some LEDs, some wires, and some resistors. So first, we're going to plug in the LEDs into our breadboard. And for this, I used five LEDs. You can use a little less or a little more. It doesn't really matter. Now I'm going to connect the ground side of the LEDs. So that is the negative side and uh, I'm just going to connect them with wires and then you can also, if you don't have these nice um, clean wires, you could also use staples. Those do a pretty nice job too. So next we're just going to test out um, the LEDs. So I'm going to connect the ground side to the uh, of my Arduino to the ground of the LEDs. And then I'll connect the 5 volt side to each LED just to make sure they all work. So now I'm going to connect the inputs of my Arduino to each of the LEDs so that each input will control each LED. And then after that, we can go ahead and connect the ground, just one ground wire to the ground side of the LEDs. Now it's time to code the Arduino. For the coding, I will leave a link in the description where you can copy all the code. But basically, I start off by declaring the pin that I'm going to use, and then I'm going to declare it as an output. After that, I just want to write the value of 200 to it, and 200 represents around 1 volt. With the maximum voltage you can send being 5 volts, and that's a value around 1000. So now I do this for all the pins, and uh, all the pins from uh, two to six and now as you can see I upload it onto the board and all the lights go on. Now I want to make something that can measure the voltage that um, we're getting and then I'm going to modify the code after that accordingly. So I'm going to use two resistors and the two wires off the front are what we're going to attach to whatever voltage we're measuring, batteries or whatever. And then in between the resistors is a wire, and that wire is just going to go to an input pin of the Arduino. So basically we're measuring the voltage drop over the first resistor. And then that last resistor I actually realized to put it in the wrong spot, so I just move it back one, so that it's attached to ground. Now I'm going to go and edit the code, and uh, I'm just going to declare variable value. And um, basically I'm declaring pin A5 as an input. And so now our value will be whatever the voltage of pin A5 is. And now we're just going to do a series of if statements. So if the value is above one volt, we're going to make pin two go on. If the value is uh, above 400 volts, we'll make the next pin go on and so on. And then at the end of the code, I do a little bit of a delay and then I turn the pin back off. So now we can upload the code onto the Arduino and then test out the batteries. And as expected, our 1.5 volt battery goes up to the first light. My cell phone battery, which is 3.6 volts, goes up to the third light. We can also test out a 9 volt battery, which turns on all the lights because it goes way over the max, which is 5 volts. And then we can also use a DC motor to generate electricity by spinning it. So you can see the faster we spin it, the more lights go on. Thanks for watching.